Well, in our earlier segment, we were talking a little bit about stocks and sodas. Now we're going to switch gears and talk about how soda could exactly, impact your health. Exactly, exactly. Two sides of that argument. Our health expert, Dr. Poonam Aleg, is back with us. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, we were, uh, as uh, Laura was talking about, we we're talking about stocks of uh, soft drink uh, uh, beverages. But now there's a downside. Uh, you can invest in it, but don't drink too much of it. Is that the deal? I know. I don't know how that's going to work, but um, <laughs> there are two sides to every story, so absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about a recent study that's talking about the uh, coloring, uh, the caramel coloring in products like Coke and Pepsi, very popular, possibly a link to cancer. Well, again, uh, Laura, when you and I talk about caram caramel coloring, we're really talking about, um, you know, in the saucepan, uh, gently melting the sugars and coming out with that brilliant caramel color that our kids love to have, right? Kids, um, me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, too. All of us love it. So um, if you look at the cola industry, the brown hue that you see in Coke and Pepsi and even in root beer is as a result of caramel color. Uh, and the caramel color that's actually used for those products is chemically modified. And um, the way it's manufactured is using ammonia and ammonia sulfite reaction. So this means that there could be some links to cancer? This is what well, some new research possibly is showing. Uh, yeah, there, there is one study that was done. It was a government-sponsored study. It was done on rodents, so mice and rat. And it showed that the two chemicals that get released it, while manufacturing um, the modified caramel that's used in colas con uh, contain two compounds or two chemicals, uh, the 2-MI and the 4-MI, which is 2-methylimidazole and 4-methylimidazole. And wh who which? did that study? Uh, the, it was a government-sponsored study. Government, government sponsored. And so um, those two contaminants are found in the modified chemically reacted uh, caramel. And that's when um, there's a public um, you know, advocacy group. It's a, it's a watchdog on nutrition uh, known as uh, the Center for Science and Public Interest. And they've been raising this issue of having these two chemicals that are now classified as carcinogens mm. um, in the colas that we drink. Now, is this new? Is this something new? Or have we known about this for some time? Uh, it's been recent that it's been added to the carcinogen list, and I think it's actually spurred a lot of debate recently because in the state of California, under Proposition 65, if you exceed a certain threshold of these contaminants or these carcinogens, you have to have warning labels identifying the cancer risk. Well, that was going to be my next question. What are companies like Coke and Pepsi doing? Are they going to change their formula? So what's happened was th these industries had like two options. One was to keep the caramel coloring the way it was, the same manufacturing and the supply uh, methodology, and then have to live with putting those warning labels right. of cancer right. risk on each right. can that we drink. Um, so they actually went back to their researchers, went, all, went back to the suppliers, and they've changed the process by which they manufacture the caramel so that the levels of 4-MI or 4-methylimidazole is lower than that threshold now. Now, so is that what's happened in California, or is this all over? This is actually, they've actually done it for the, for the entire what country now. What specifically has happened in California, though? Uh, well, California was actually at the vanguard of all this change. So because they had to comply with California law, otherwise they would have had to put that warning label. Right. They actually they went back. They did not want to put that warning they label They did not. I mean, imagine can. having a can of Coke and saying no. you can get cancer. Um, now, I think a lot of people are going to want to know who are diehard uh, soda drinkers, is this going to change the flavor? Uh, according to uh, the industry, the cola industry, no, it is not going to change the flavor. You're going to still love it the way you do. However, again, as a physician, I can't help but talk about the fact that cola is not good. You know, we all know that. Uh, we talk about the four MIs and those potential carcinogens that are there in the cola. However, the sugars that are there, the caffeine that's there, is more harmful. Um, sure. And so my advice is actually... Um, stay away We're from cut it down as much on as, all yeah, of that. Absolutely. Well, what about the FDA stance on this? Well, the FDA does label this as a carcinogen. However, it called it something called GRASS, which is generally recognized as safe. And they came out with a, an official statement saying that if you were to get to the doses that were used in that study on rodents, you would have to consume a thousand cans of Coke a day. Wow. So there's really no need to panic at this point. Like anything else in moderation, would that be good advice? Um, there isn't any need to panic, but 
I think it's important, again, to look at all the processed food that we're consuming. Um, let's stay with the whole foods, the natural foods, the nice, bright colored vegetables and fruits, and let's uh, increase that in our diet. Warning labels and sodas, is this something that happens in other countries? Is this something just in the United States? It's actually, uh, California under its Proposition 65 is actually in the forefront of this. Wow. So um, they're the leaders Boy. in environmental toxins and awareness and things Certainly. like that. You know, it's interesting, though, if you take a a bottle of uh, Coke or Pepsi, just put it in a can or something and put a piece of metal in it and see how long Stop that it. piece of metal lasts. Stop Stop. <laughs> I love my soda. Stop it. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> well, of course, there are health concerns, but uh, at least this is the latest thing. It's good for folks to know. We appreciate you coming on and, and uh, talking about that, sharing that with our viewers. Yeah, thank you. Good All medical right. advice. Thank Dr. you so much. Dr. Puna Malay, thank you. Thank you.